Hi guys, Dane here, and today I've got a short but sweet review for you of Three Blind Mice and Other Stories by Agatha Christie, featuring Hercule Poirot and Miss Marple. So, the title story here is the story that the mousetrap was based on. Uh, basically, as I started reading this, I realised that I've already read all of the stories. Uh, I've added every Agatha Christie publication to my overall wish list, and there's some overlap between British and American versions. So, um, yeah, I, it turned out I'd read all of the short stories in this before. However, um, I did make a couple of tabs. I'm going to tell you what I can of the stories as well, but it might be quite a short review today. Starting with the blurb. A blinding snowstorm was not an auspicious beginning, but Molly and Giles Davis were determined to make a go of their new guest house. How could they know that among their first guests at Snowbound Monkswell Manor was a murderer, a fiend who had already killed one blind mouse, and was now waiting to pounce on numbers two and three? Three Blind Mice is the basis for the famous play The Mousetrap, which opened in London in 1952 and is now the longest running play in the English language. So, what we have here, obviously we have Three Blind Mice, which is the story the mousetrap was based on. I've seen the mousetrap, I saw it for my birthday last year. I actually was kind of depressed uh, while it was on because I don't do birthdays very well. Uh, I do think that it was better in the story. The problem with the performance was that they like played up the humor and it didn't really maintain the tone of an Agatha Christie play because of that you know just a little bit I wanted to highlight here in Three Blind Mice um, calling him Christopher too since when have you been on Christian name terms oh Giles don't be ridiculous everyone always uses Christian names nowadays you know they do even after a couple of days what's even funnier is that we call them first names now as well as opposed to Christian names all right then we have Strange Jest which is about uh, a man dies and um, the, the family think he's left a fortune, but they can't figure out where it is. Uh, again, that's one that I've read before. I do like the way that it turns out there. We have Tape Measure Murder. Um, it didn't really stick with me, to be honest. The Case of the Perfect Maid. That one was quite interesting because it does the kind of Christy thing of, um, you know, playing with the relationships between people. We have The Case of the Caretaker. And there are a few things here I flagged for that. So uh, Miss Harmon in that one, she says, uh, Men are always the same. Once a gay deceiver, always a gay deceiver. I know them. I quite like that. Gay deceiver. I might use that again. And then uh, Harry says, um, All these old pussies knew me when I lived here as a boy. It always makes me laugh when they call them old pussies. We have the third floor flat, which I remember vividly from the first time I read it. Um, it actually, I didn't enjoy it as much on the reread as the first time, but it's still a pretty decent short story. I thought this quote was funny. People who don't like pianos over their heads shouldn't come and live in flats. Very true. Then we have The Adventure of Johnny Waverley. Four and Twenty Blackbirds, that one in particular. Again, um, I didn't even bother to reread that one this time because I remember it so vividly. So it must have been quite recent that I picked that one up. Then at the end we have The Love Detectives. All in all, I mean, it's a pretty good short story collection. I do enjoy Agatha Christie's short stories, sometimes more than her novels. And this one's a good one because, again, it's got the mouse trap. But it's also got some Poirot and some Marple. The only thing it's really missing is Ariadne Oliver. Um, but I can't rate it too high because, again, it felt like a reread, even though it was the first time I read it. I gave it a 4 out of 5. It was alright. Would recommend if you're a Christie fan. So there we have it. That's what I made of Three Blind Mice and Other Stories. As always, don't forget to let me know in the comments if you've read this book and if so, what you thought of it. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit subscribe for more. And I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.